h to the x to the a to the l to the d to the i to the n what's going on everybody on youtube it's zeldon here the magician master 100 known as the master of all spellcasters um i'm sorry to say that i haven't been doing videos in a while um i'm really sorry about that it's just that something happened to me recently um about like a couple of days ago probably like five days ago or uh, yeah basically something happened recently and I just wasn't feeling up to making videos during the time but um yeah I'm gonna try to do some uh, some videos and also I've also been trying to work on my other channel uh, Zelda Wolfgang I will leave a link in the description down below and I hope that you all will please show your support uh, but enough chit chat time to get to the video um, today we have a new Shadal monster a fusion Shadal actually and it's one of my favorite attributes, actually. The wind attribute. So, anyway, El Shalal Windigo. If I can guess, Konami's probably going to change the name from Windigo to something different. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Because since we already have El Shadal Window, we're probably going to have a uh, different name for it. So, anyway, as I already said, it's a wind attribute. It's a psychic monster. Fusion. Effect. Level 6. 200 attack. 2800 defense. And its effect and abilities will be in the description down below, but I will still read it anyway. Oh, and its requirements, too. I almost forgot the requirements. Um, but anyway, it requires one Shadal monster and one in wind attribute. Must be fusion summoned. During either player's turn, you can target one monster you control. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle with an opponent's special summon monster. You can only use this effect of El Shadal Windigo once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal Wind... Excuse me. One should all spell or trap card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. This is actually a pretty good card, actually, for going against decks that like to spam the field or special summon like crazy. Or if your opponent happened to Pendulum summoned, and after that, you can use Windigo's ability, target one of your monsters, and of course, it won't be destroyed by either one of those monsters because it was special summoned because of the Pendulum summoning. So, yeah, it's actually a good card. And you're one probably thinking to yourself, but it requires a wind attribute. How am I going to use this card? Well, one of them is Super Polymerization, or Shadal Core, or this new card right here. Nep I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the name right. Uh, it's just kind of hard to pronounce the name. Uh, anyway, Nef's Shadal Fusion. It's an equipped spell card, and its effect, again, will be in the description down below. Anyway, activate this card by declaring an attribute. Equipped only to a Shadal monster. Remember that, Shadal monster. The attribute of the equipped monster becomes the declared attribute. If you control the equipped monster in this card, you can fusion summon one Shadal fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of the field as fusion materials, including the equipped monster you control. You can only use this effect of, again, I can't pronounce the name, Nef's Shadal fusion once per turn. I like this card. But there's a kind of a problem. Here's the thing. If you do equip to, to one of your Shadal monsters, what are the odds of your opponent just going to come out of nowhere and just MST it as soon as you're going to declare the attribute? True, it won't negate, but however, your monster probably won't be the declared attribute, and you won't be able to fusion summon. So, yeah, that's one of the problems. But however, it's a good card. But it's not like the really overhyped kind of thing, in my opinion. And, yeah, it's actually a really good card right here. I'm probably going to, like, side deck the card if I could. Um, so, if I could just make this one quick prediction. I'm just going to make this really quick prediction. Notice that each of these Shadals right here. Winda is a dark attribute, and she's a level 5. Windigo... She's a wind attribute and a level 6. Grista, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name right, is a level 5, level 7, constructs a light attribute, level 8, and Shinakinaga, I'm, again, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the name right, is an earth attribute, level 10. But the one attribute we don't have yet is a water attribute and a level 9. So, if I can make this really good prediction, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if I can make this prediction... I'm going to predict that this is probably going to be the next El Shadal water monster. Because he's a water attribute. 
and he's a level 9. So I'm going to predict that this is going to be going to be the next El Shadal monster we're probably going to get. It's probably going to be an obvious moment, but that's my prediction of who's going to be the next El Shadal monster. So that's my video. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. And again, I'm sorry for not making videos. Again, things have been... I've have not been feeling myself before because of that moment that I've had, but yeah. Uh, so I'll uh, hope you guys like the video, and please check out my other channel. I'll leave a link in the description, and please show your support by subscribing. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.